Hello, welcome back to the debate. We'll get to the guys' uh, combined teams between Liverpool and Manchester City next, but we've already started talking about some of the differences. First of all, though, uh, an overview on the game between Liverpool and Manchester City. Given how they've both started the season, given the games that they're, they're coming off the back of in, in Europe this week, how far apart are they going into the weekend's games? Not as far apart as, as the league table finished last year, as far as I'm concerned. I think it's a really exciting game. I think you know that both managers are going to be playing the same way they always do. They're going to trust their players to do what uh, you know to do what their style is better than the opposition. I, I think um, it could go either way. And I tell you what I love most about this game is that each time I've seen them play, whatever the outcome. The manager's passion and the managers always embrace at the end and there's there's no silliness, no excuses, no they have respect. And the teams have respect. And I think it'll be another humdinger, because you know City aren't gonna sit back and you know Liverpool aren't gonna do anything other than go after them and try and win that game at home. So I, I'm really looking forward to it and I and I don't think whoever wins you can then say No. I, I made City favourites at the beginning because of the massive gap. Can Liverpool bridge the gap? I think they have bridged the gap with the signings they've made, mm -hmm. definitely. But it's still a big one. And I don't think just if they beat City, which I think they will, if they do beat City, it doesn't mean they're going to win the league. But it, it will be a hell of a game. Um, whistle stop tour then through the combined 11s. We'll, yep. go, we'll, we'll, we'll gloss over the ones that you've agreed on. On you've form. For on form. On form. And if, you know, as the game is going to be played on Sunday, these are who you pick. The ones you've gone for the same Alisson in, in goal. Because uh, he's been more used, I centrally, think. Yep. Central defence, Van Dyke and Gomez. Yep. Both gone for that. You've gone for Walker at. Right back, Andy Robertson at left back. Both of you gone for. I did. Gone for that. Yeah, so quite where, obvious. Where, hang on. Where, where have you where have you gone different then? Midfield. Yeah, with midfield, yeah. I picked Bernardo Silva, Fernandinho, and da uh, David Silva. And so have you, where have you? I, on I that? put Wijnaldum in with Fernandinho and David Silva because <laughs> I, th I think wijnaldum has gone under the radar. He's been absolutely sensational. Kept his place in the midfield where they've spent what over 100 million. Yeah, I thought he's brilliant as well. And so he's so. and he's actually played holding role and in the attacking role. I, th I think he's been a real plus this season. Mm. So you, you, it was a close call then? It was, yeah, because but I think because Bernardo Silva's been, he has been that great. little bit probably better and more end product. He's scoring goals as well. Now, the front three, I'm quite interested to know what you've, what you've done there. What, so Guerrero's a no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely easy. And I, I've, I've got Raheem Sterling and Sadio Mane. Really? And what have you gone for? I had Sterling. I think yeah. he's been sensational. Deserves it. But instead of... Well, I'm, I'm, people will laugh Mane, at this because... Mane, you've of, gone... People keep saying that Salah looks off. He still scored four goals, that's one less than he had this time last year, and he's still getting in the right position, so I put Salah in because even if he's not quite at it, he's still better than the others. You can watch that.